some rhythm. I do. There's a bit of Italian in you. <laughs> and while I may have some rhythm, I decided it's best to leave the rocking to the pros. Bigger is definitely better, at least when it comes to jewelry. And H. Stern is showing us the sexiest part of Sex in the City. Good, keep climbing with the hands. Keep climbing, keep climbing. Perfect. But what goes up must come down. Keep looking towards your navel. Release your hands. Nice. Look at her go. Phew. Happy to still be in one piece, I worked on a few more moves before class ended. Realizing an aerial performer I'm not, but I gained plenty of levity and totally earned my wings. But first, McFeely had me jump in to learn a few moves. So I suited up and we started with leg kicks. Muay Thai, come on, you're in a Muay Thai class. You want me to kick you with my knee? Yeah. For real, I'll kick you? I don't, yeah. <laughs> Oh God, I'm sorry. <laughs> if you were looking for love, help is in the house. Matt Titus is a professional matchmaker who made his own perfect match this, small, this fall. American TV news reporter Tamsin Fidel, and they both star in a new reality series called Matched in Manhattan. Matt and Tamsin, it's good to see you. Nice to see you. Thanks, Ross. Tamsin, I understand you actually did the, the right thing the first time <laughs> you were asked out by this gentleman. I did. I rejected him. That was <laughs> and, that's, the right thing. <laughs> and that's the right thing. I kept saying no. You know what? I was doing it, though, because I was concentrating on my career at the time. Yeah. That's what I was completely focused on. And as a career woman, I was not thinking about trying to jump into a relationship. Relationship. Of course I can't do it alone. I've got some help from my lovely wife, Tamsin, and our business partner, Eddie. You right. call him, I'm going to drive over there. He's wrapping up another phone call right now. <laughs> Sometimes are really busy days. That's what you're hearing right now. Hey, hey, guess what? We're not answering another phone call. We're done. All right, get going. You got to get going. You're going to be late. And you know what? There's one thing. There's a thank you notes. Did uh, you even start them yet? I, I don't. I don't think guys write thank you notes. Yeah, they do write thank you notes. Trust me. Eddie, do guys write thank you notes? They do when they just got married. Goodbye. Bye. Bye. Thanks, Ed. This is a great yeah, place. Yeah, this is perfect. The game plan is simple. I spot the guys, and then Tamson goes in for the kill. Checking you out. Hi. My name is Tamson. How are you? Good. Really good. Are you single? Oh, you're not married. Are you single? I didn't notice a ring. If you want to play with handcuffs in the bedroom, you should make sure you know where the key is. Police in Michigan say they got a call from a man who claimed he handcuffed his wife to their bed and then misplaced the oh, key. Sure. Police went to their home and freed the woman. They say the situation was more of an intimate relationship than an unlawful imprisonment. I don't I even know how to segue that, that. that. I hate it when that happens. <laughs> I got nothing. Investigators now believe a space heater is to blame for a boat fire at a marina in New Jersey. Air 11 was over the scene yesterday morning at the Lincoln Harbor Marina in Weehawken. Tamsin, back to you. All right, Allison, thank you. Folks on Long Island might see the cost of electricity go up. The Long Island Power Authority is expected to vote on its 2009 budget this morning. James Ford is live in Hicksville now to tell us what the spending plan calls for and how today's hearing could affect your electric bill. Well, good morning. We have a lot going on actually in entertainment news. First up, Pete Wentz says Heath Ledger's death was a wake up call. In an interview with Details Magazine, the fallout boy basis says Ledger's shocking death got him to stop popping pills. We don't want you have fear so if you don't want to go to the gym one day and you want to just chill out a little bit compliments of Christina Bear, our producer. That is this okay? That is go, amazing. Go ahead. And go ahead equally and take disturbing. It. I want you to love and <laughs> that I want you to cherish this that, because you can skip the gym every once wow, in a while now. Look at that. I'm so <laughs> symmetrical. All right. And gotta, oddly enough, my tan is about the same as in the movie. <laughs> it's just like the clip. All right, let's talk about People Magazine, Sexiest Man Alive. What, what did you think when you heard that? Well, our Tamsin Fidel is here with a special guest who has taken it to a whole other level. And God, she's beautiful. She is very beautiful. She's a sexy tattoo artist who's made her mark on L.A. And now the star of L.A. Inc. is using her design skills on something a little less permanent. Hello, how are you, Hi. Kat? Nice to see you. Nice well, tell me, you. first of all, your tattoos. How old were you when you got your first one? Because I've been um, staring at them since you got here. <laughs> I know, it's a lot to look at. <laughs> um, see, I've been getting tattoos since I was 14 years old, and right around the same time is when I started tattooing. So. I'm sure they're really busy, and I'm really busy, but I, I hear they're doing well. You're very busy. Let's talk about this, yeah. your makeup line. Now, what inspired this? I mean, these colors are beautiful, and I love the names, by the way. Oh, thank you. What inspired yeah, your um, makeup line? Well, I think, you know, like, uh, 
Makeup is just another form of self-expression. So. Fabulous. So you had a big part in the packaging of it. Yeah, Because the design is really beautiful. Thanks. Really beautiful. All right, well, thank you so much thank for joining you. us. We'll definitely look for your line. Now, Kat Von D's beauty line is available exclusively at Sephora. For more info on where to find it, log on to CW11.com slash morning news. And you can catch LA Inc. on TLC on Thursdays.